This is called Software Architect Elevator and it's by Gregor Hofke. This book is a very fine balance between talking about technology and how to you know, grow as an architect and how to understand architecture as a discipline. One of the most important things that architects have to do is learn. Yes, learning literally never stops. It's a never ending journey for an architect. And that's why in today's video, I bring you some of my favorite books that have helped me immensely throughout my career. Let's get started. This is called Software Architect Elevator and it's by Gregor Hopke. He is one of the most, one of the most senior architects that I, I admire. And this book is a very fine balance between talking about technology and how to you know, grow as an architect and how to understand architecture as a discipline. It's a very light read, uh, but it's very conceptual at its nature. I'll give you a sneak peek. So this, this chapter describes how architects are fully sketch artists. It's, it's trying to, you know, give a good perspective by taking an example and there's, and the book is kind of filled with, you know, images like that. So the book is a great balance between technology and talking about systems overall it talks about lives of an architect elevator tower roles of an architect ivory tower architects you know things not to do as an architect systems designs platforms layers how to think about uh, you know building systems how to scale digitally and stuff like that it's a great read if you're a software architect let's move on to some of the next article uh, some of the next books in the series. So now I'm going to talk of Amazon and you know give you the listing of the books because I don't really own them. It's in my Kindle and I'm not able to share from Kindle. So the first is Fundamentals of Software Architecture and Engineering Approach by Neil Ford and Mark Richards. Both of these are again great senior architects and this is an introductory level book. It, it introduces to the idea of architecture and patterns talks about components, soft skills, and how do you go about using architecture as an engineering discipline. The next book, which is also from them, is Neil Ford, Mark Richards, and then there's two more co-authors on the board, which is Software Architecture, the hard part. So you can think of this as an extension to that book, but really this is more for seasoned architects. And here the talk is more about distributed systems and how do you you know manage the trade-offs that are involved with that this is also a great book if you want to go into understanding the inner working of distributed system and is one of the most highly rated book next i'm gonna move on to a very old book it's, it's i think it came out uh if i'm not wrong in 2017 so by that good five six year old but this is one of the best books that I have read when you talk about building data intensive applications. So if you are, you know, handling with systems that are huge and where data is the core element, unlike, uh, you know, other transaction processing systems, which where, you know, you have to worry about the transaction, the nature of transactions themselves, things like where you have to worry about services and all that. So this book talks about uh, in great length, how to make technology choices, how to handle databases, what kind of message brokers to pick, whether you want to have a stream engine or a batch processing engine, what are the right choices for those engines and stuff like that. It demystifies a lot of buzzwords as well. So, so it's a great uh, uh, book to go about and keeping it in with you as a reference book. All of these are great buys. You can keep them as reference books with you all the time. Uh, you know, as you mature in your career, you will find that as you keep reading them and rereading them, you'll learn and discover new insights. Next is I'm going to talk about something specific and two on a couple of specialized books. So on microservices, I think microservices patterns by Chris Richardson is one of the best books I've read. Along with his book, I highly recommend his blog microservices.io where he talks and you know shares a lot of content free of course it's it's one of the best places to go about learning microservices and demystifying it this book uh, this is a book which i've owned uh, you know from 2018 or 17 i think it, it's it's a relatively old book uh, but one of the best decomposition uh, strategies for 
micro services which is to say that how do you decompose a micro service you know what are the methods you use do you go by technology do you go by business capability do you go by domain driven design all of that and and this book talks about all of that in great lens there's good conversations about how do you test apis how do you build external integrations how do you have saga patterns and stuff like that so it's it's a great book uh you know wholesome book for microservices if you are you know deeply involved in building microservices especially with java if you are using different technology you will still find it very useful so you can definitely check this book out completely now then i'm going to move on to a uh, another timeless book this i i i yeah this came in 2003 you know more than close to two decades old book right uh gregor hofke again and uh, bobby wolf but this is one of the books which i think is still relevant uh, the book is uh, probably in the second edition or third edition right now but this really talks about how enterprises are built and uh, talks about a lot of technologies which uh, which used to exist like jms tipco uh bistock soap xslts uh, and stuff like that so from a technology standpoint it's old but purely from the design aspects this book can teach you a lot and uh, you know it has evolved a bit uh, there's a lot of modern examples they have upgraded the book i think i'm looking at uh, the first edition of the book maybe there's a uh second edition or a third edition to the book as well uh i i i i need to check that yeah this one is by fowler this is another uh, good books on the on very similar topics around patterns for enterprise architecture so these two books are more from an integ- uh, enterprise architecture integration patterns uh, so when you have it's not at a low level application level design it's rather at an org level so these two are again great books uh two more books which i'll want to talk about one is again from gregor hofke uh, cloud strategy an amazing read a uh, very light read i'll say but extremely depth you know uh, how do you build strategy for cloud and what are the how do you take good decisions on cloud you know and uh, i think he has worked in amazon for quite some time uh, google thought works so he has a great uh, background to talk about this book uh, very 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 uh, well well read very well nice book and you can you can look at the content here so he talks about understanding organizing moving architecting building and budgeting the cloud so all the aspects of cloud are little, are covered and uh, you can look take a look at few free chapters on leanpub if you want i own uh, most i own soft copies of most of the books i'm talking about lastly and finally a notable mention i know alex uh, who has been in uh, is a very popular is very popular on linkedin and uh, you know sharing his system design but i think uh, my my own personal perspective is these are great case studies uh, so if you uh, read his books you will get a very good insight from a technology perspective and from a you know use case perspective so so these books will teach you about uh, where well you know you'll be able to crack interviews and stuff like that and i think this is what is the intention for these books too these are not necessarily uh, always in alignment with uh, the definitions that has been set by architects like you know uh, gregor ofke uh, martin fowler and, and and a lot of different people right uh, so they these these might not necessarily uh, you know uh, synergize with those thoughts but they are a great place if you want to you know learn about how linkedin is designed how certain systems are designed how api works and stuff like that so these are uh, these go take a more deeper path into uh, system design rather than a holistic architecture so uh, this is i in my view this is a book of a different category but a lot of architects like this book so i'm i'm making a notable mention of it and yeah that's that's my uh, book list for you guys if you are interested in becoming an architect i think it's it's a long journey uh, it takes quite a few number of years so owning these books will definitely help you you know think better and think smarter as you draw more architectures and build more systems keep watching cafe io subscribe to my channel bye bye have a great day